Get parked there, man. Tony, listen, come here. We're gonna do something really stupid today. So my business partner, Edmund, okay. decided to destroy his brand new Hummer EV. <laughs> Mark, watch out! Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh. <laughs> Hey, man. Uh, I thought it was like really ridiculous. He had that thing sold for 50 over and then he just lost all that money plus more. So today I thought, you know what? Why did that Hummer have such a difficult time going over that jump at like 60 miles an hour? Maybe because it was in the racetrack. Though, yep. Right? Let's see what happens if we jump a Hummer H2 on the same exact spot Shit. doing the same exact <laughs> thing. So I went and bought a Hummer so I, H2. Now, okay. <laughs> Should uh, I be there for that one too since so I can experience both and give you the- I'll oh, be driving. Bernice gonna be in the back. Bernice will be in the back. Mario will be in the passenger filming. I'll be driving. We'll do the exact same thing. Okay, same dip, same everything. You are so and I want to see if a Hummer H2 <laughs> oh, can absolutely. handle that. I think it can. I just really hope that the results aren't worse than the EV. <laughs> I don't want to have to go through that again. <laughs> I traded one of my Land Rover Defenders for it. Okay. That's the trade That's right the there. Park, baby. So let's go check it out. All right, let me uh, let me refresh you guys on what happened to this car. I purchased all of uh, Randy's Savage Garage SUVs, just, and on the transporter, this asshole put this car in the middle and uh, he decided that it was just gonna be uh, totally okay to go under a low clearance bridge and he destroyed the roof, okay? And so I fought six, seven, eight months to try to get paid on this. This is an $18,000 repair and the insurance paid $7,500. They owe me 7,500 bucks. I'm gonna put the description, uh, the, the link to this company in the description because uh, they're they uh, they won't pay me the deductible. It's not enough money to fix it. So instead of coming out more money, I thought, you know what? This car's been sitting here for like eight months. I'm just gonna sell it as is. So I traded this car. It's actually pretty dope. It's everything you want in a Land Rover Defender 90. I guess I have no idea what about these cars. Hey, wish me luck. Uh, good We're luck. Going pretty far. <laughs> So you guys know my guy Lucky Lopez. He's been on the podcast with me. He's been all over the finance car side of the business. He owns this dealership right here. That's where we're at. Look, all these cars are his right now. Look at all this. He's got like so many cars. He, I only have like 30 cars. He's got like 100 cars. He now owns this beautiful Land Rover Defender and I've got this uh, similar color Hummer H2 right here. So. My guy Victor right here is gonna help us get this Hummer and uh, we're gonna go make this happen. We're gonna make this look hopefully better than the brand new Hummer EV because I'm pretty sure that this thing is more powerful on the off-road than that new EV is, but we'll okay. see what happens. It smells. Like a cigarette. It smells bad. <laughs> Alcantara headliner. Oh, absolutely. I've never actually driven a H2. No. Have you? Uh, no, but I've driven a old top. Uh -oh. I like it. Um, I'm not going to be driving this car back, so I'm probably going to have to get a towed. Okay. I'm going to have the guys come and clean it up. <laughs> this is Luciano's new car? Yeah. Everybody gets a car? You get a car. You get a car. If you clean it up, you can have it. Type deal on this one, right? After we jump it, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Monday morning at Royalty. We've got Tony working his ass off, trying to get someone to pick up a brand new Huracan that I just bought for the fleet. Michael doesn't even work here anymore. Jenna, what are you doing? Oh yeah, she's creating a uh, form because I had to send a payoff for the Huracan that we just purchased. So I sent them a wire and they need to send us the title. Pretty good action today. It's only been about 15 minutes since we've all been here and everybody's got stuff to do. But today I'm getting a new car. It's, it's pretty, it's a, it's a good car. I would say it's Mario's dream car. Well, my dream car is a GT3 RS, but I guess it's a semi dream car. Yeah. Any of those. I picked up another 2009 Audi R8. All right, the first one I bought on Bring a Trailer was 68,000 plus the fee and shipping. That one I was in for 75,000 because yes. I bought an East Coast. 2,500 for shipping and then like 37 something for uh, fee. That car was busted. 58,000 miles had a supercharger on it, which made me want it, but the supercharger wasn't good. The belt actually wasn't on tight. I, I, the belt flew off the first 20 minutes. I should have filmed it. I don't even know why I didn't even film this car. Anyways, 
I let Mario drive around the block and the belt came off. Oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, I tried to sell it to Mario for $75,000. Give him, put, do it exactly what I paid for it, but he didn't want it. So I'm in it for 76,900. This one has 20,000 less miles, okay? Has a full PPF on it and it is red with the carbon side blades. This one's bone stock. I actually paid um, B Rogue to do a turbo kit for me for the last one. And I sold the last one because I was really actually unable to get the stock parts. So the only issue with this car here is that it has a lot of seat wear. And I'm gonna redo the seats anyways, and I'm gonna redo the steering wheel. So I figured it's got an Alcantara headliner already, which was obviously upgraded from the factory. It's got the full carbon interior. Everything on the outside looks really, really nice. We're gonna do the turbo kit, and we're gonna be in this car for much, much, much less with 40,000 miles. So on Bring a Trailer, those cars are going for a lot more money. Now, I'm not a fan of cars and vids, like the name and, and the platform. They, and they're not even open on Sundays. It was really weird. All the auctions end at a weird time. But the deals are much better because I don't think it has a lot of people on there. But what wheel should we put on it? I was thinking going with these. Like, do you think this will be a good wheel for that car? I think this is a little bit too much. Yeah, I would go with that Because this, this is what probably is naturally supposed to go on that car, yeah, right? Yeah, put that on there. Yeah, so what, we can go with this one in probably black. Yeah, we'll go with black. I got the V10 side blades too, so we'll put that on there as well. Hey. All right, so the um, Audi R8 in question is here. There it is. This may be one of the dirtiest cars I've ever gotten, but uh, I love these cars, man. You know, you've got to understand how amazing this car sounds. Like the pinnacle of V8 sound is this particular engine. Now this engine's in quite a bit of cars. It's definitely in um, uh, the RS4, RS5, I think. But just the way that this thing handles and drives, it just feels so smooth. So it has a little bit of power, right? Like, I mean, I think they come stock with like 450, something like that. When you throw a supercharger on it or a turbo, it adds like 200 more horsepower. Now for me, turbo is the only way to go because I really like the feel of a turbo in, in the boost and all the sounds and you know how aggressive it is. But it just makes this car perfectly balanced. So B Rogue, um, the guy who's doing Stratman's Gallardo, has a really cool turbo kit for these cars and uh, I expect to get that car soon. I'm gonna let him uh, dial up the uh, quality of the interior and the paint. Shout out to this shipping guy who is taking my simulator all the way to Texas. 